Are you excited for your new Pomeranian puppy and want to be prepared? Bringing home a new puppy is often overwhelming. Being prepared and having everything that you need on hand can remove the stress and allow you to enjoy and bond with your new fluffy friend. In this video, I am sharing the top 18 things you need for your new puppy. The first item can easily slip past new Pomeranian owners, putting your puppy at risk if you grab the wrong item. You must only use harnesses with Pomeranians and never use a dog collar. Pomeranians are vulnerable to collapsed tracheas. The trachea or windpipe has little rings of cartilage that go around it and support the entire windpipe. If the rings around the trachea lose some strength, the trachea can start to collapse and fall inward. When the trachea starts to collapse, it can become challenging for your dog to breathe or bring air into its lungs. If your Pomeranian is wearing a collar, the pressure of the collar can damage the trachea. When searching for a good harness, I suggest measuring your puppy's chest before purchasing or having a variety of sizes and styles on hand. One style may fit your teeny tiny Pomeranian better than another. I personally prefer the harnesses that your dog steps into with the loopholes for the front legs and fastens together in the back, making the two little rings available for clipping. Having two rings there helps secure your dog from escape if the plastic latch fails. I'm not a fan of the harnesses that need to go over your dog's head. It can sometimes be challenging to put it on when you have a wiggling puppy. I'll link some of my favorite harnesses down below. Next up is a must have to go along with your harness, a great leash. I love having two different types of leashes on hands at all times. Just a simple lightweight standard leash plus a retractable. I've discovered that I still grab both leashes depending on where we're going. If I want my Pomeranians to have a little more roaming freedom, I'll reach for the retractable. If we're going for a quick potty break, a regular leash is just fine. With three Pomeranians, both of these leashes get used a lot, especially when we're camping. When you have small dogs like Pomeranians, the next item is a must have, a dog carrier. Pomeranians love to go with you on adventures and having a lightweight dog carrier is essential to making this process easier and more safe for your Pomeranian. I suggest getting your Pomeranian puppy used to traveling in a dog carrier and don't wait too long. Two out of three of our dogs love getting in their carriers to go on adventures, whereas Duke not so much. <laughs> the others will stomp on the carriers with excitement and Duke will need to get placed inside his. Selecting a carrier is fun since they come in a variety of colors, sizes, and styles. We've actually used the same carrier style with all three of our dogs for the past four years and are very happy with it. We have a beige one, red, and pink, and I'll place a link down below. After a dog carrier, you will need to decide if you're going to crate train your puppy. If you are, you will need a crate. Luckily, Pomeranians are very small dogs and will not require a crate that takes up a lot of space. A soft bed within that crate or for snoozing outside of the crate is also a must have. Our pups love curling up into a small bed that could work for both a Pomeranian or even a cat. You do not need to buy an expensive bed. A budget-friendly bed that is plush will be just the place for your dog to rest when they're not on your lap. You may want to be cautious though about adding a bed to your dog's crate until they are potty trained. Up next would be food and water bowls. Although these little dogs don't eat a lot, it's ideal for them to have their own bowls set for mealtime. I also suggest having some collapsible bowls in your vehicle or dog carrier if your Pomeranian travels with you often. Having water available at all times is necessary. Puppy food and puppy treats. Always ask your breeder before you bring your puppy home what type of food they're eating and how much food they're eating. When it comes to portions, many people are quite surprised to discover how little Pomeranians actually need to eat to maintain a healthy weight. I am the primary person in charge of feeding my dogs, but unfortunately, I have a household of people that are sneaking my dog's treats. And this has resulted in our little female being a little bit overweight. Just a little extra food can be a lot for a little Pomeranian and put your dog at higher risk for health problems. So I need to work on training my people and not my dogs in this case. But back to the puppy food. It's best to feed your puppy the same food that they've been eating to avoid any digestive issues 
issues as you transition your pup into its forever home. If you're not happy with the food, you can always switch a little bit later by slowly weaning them off the previous food and adding in the new replacement. Pomeranians love treats and they're a great tool for training. Make sure to have training treats or very small size treats available for your puppy. Let's move on to grooming supplies. Pomeranians are not as high maintenance as some believe, but they do require some consistent and simple grooming. All dogs will need to have their nails clipped from time to time. Some more than others, our little Murphy needs nail clipping all of the time, whereas Willow and Duke hardly ever do. So a great set of nail clippers and some septic powder are must-haves. And don't forget a toothbrush and dog toothpaste. I know it sounds silly, but if you get your dog used to regular cleanings, it can help set up your dog for better long-term health. Up next is a good brush. You won't really need a brush until your Pomeranian starts going through the puppy uglies, which is around four to 15 months of age, but it's best to get your Pomeranian used to being brushed at a young age so the experience will be easier and more enjoyable for you both. I will link my favorite brush down below. Your Pomeranian does not need a bath every week or even every month, but the occasional bath will be needed, making it a good idea to have a safe and non-toxic shampoo on hand. With such fluffy fur, you may run into a situation that I often refer to as the butt bath, and you'll appreciate having shampoo on hand during this time. This is a great segue to more potty talk. Dog poop bags are a must-have item. I like to buy them in bulk, so I rarely have to think about purchasing them. I also suggest having some great cleaning supplies on hand that are formulated specifically for dog messes. Puppies have poverty accidents in your home, so being prepared with cleaners that can remove any odors is a must-have. Now for some fun stuff. Toys. My entire family loves buying toys for our dogs. We can spend hours searching on Amazon or roaming around Petco. I suggest always having a great selection of toys that vary from you know, stuffed plush, hard bones, to balls that can be chased, and I will link our favorite toys down below, including Murphy's favorite hedgehogs. Another thing that you may not think of until you've already brought your puppy home is a local veterinarian. It is best to already know what vet you'll be using and to set up your first puppy visit. It's great to have someone on hand in case of any questions or emergencies. And speaking of emergencies, it's also a good idea to know where the local animal ER or urgent care is located and what their hours are. So here's a bonus idea, baby gates. Baby gates are not a must have, but they are worth mentioning. A baby gate can help you keep your puppy contained to a safe puppy proof space. And the early days are full of chewing and exploration and that can be dangerous for your little puppy. And they also come in handy in the way that we use them. We use baby gates to keep our dogs away from the cat space, you know, their food and their litter box. So there we have it. Those are my must-haves for bringing home a new Pomeranian puppy. What are your must-haves? If you enjoyed this video, you may like my video on the top 10 mistakes that Pomeranian owners make. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hug your palm today.